as we come to the all-important super final then this is the one where we can tell you that Stephen Palmer has qualified for the back row of the grid he just crept into 10th place on the grid and already he's through the field and up into fourth place as John Welch looks at the field going away as it is John Welch in the lead John Welch in the lead and Stephen Palmer through into second place on the first half lap Dennis Biggestaff third then comes Mark Flaherty those four supercars pulling away from Brian Bedridge who I think it is leads the two-wheel drive category they come up into Samson Curve and it's John Welch leading from Stephen Palmer now then can Steve find the momentum to come in and challenge John for the lead there is John Milner once again renewing his battle the two little Formula C cars both having made the super final but Stephen Palmer a marvellous first lap as uh, we can see from the back of John's car Stephen just uh, hovering over the curbs there as they go away up round Checkers Corner. Stephen Palmer closing right in now on John Welch, but John then looking for his first victory this year, overall victory in the series, and a victory here over Stephen Palmer. Would heist John Welch up into second place ahead of Will Gollop, who of course is not contesting the championship on a regular basis, although maybe we might see Will later in the year, but at the moment we're watching Britain's leading driver in Europe for 1990, uh, chasing hard on the man who for so many years was our leading driver in Europe is Stephen Palmer versus John Welch. Mark Flaherty, I think, quite happy to sit there in fourth place as is Dennis Biggestaff in third. And as they come away, uh, it is still John Welch then away with the Vauxhall Astra. Stephen Palmer closing again, but certainly still not close enough to quite challenge. John driving a very controlled race here through the old chicane. Stephen Palmer, if anything, losing ground a little bit now on John. And it all looks good for John to end the domination of the 6R4 in the series. We've seen three different winners in our preceding rounds. Uh, but all of them, Michael Shield, Stephen Palmer and Will Gollop have been mounted in Metro 6R4s. This looks like being the first time that we've seen victory for a turbo car. And it is indeed John going away then. The uh, most experienced man in this field, no question about that, as ex-motocrosser Steve Palmer goes into his third season, still leading the British National Series here. Despite the outcome of this race, he will still be our leader, although Dennis Biggestaff going well in third place is going to do his points tally, a power of good with one of his best results of the season. But John Welch it is, down towards the curve at Samson, way up to the Manhattan Complex where Stephen Palmer did his Tweedledee and Tweedledum earlier this afternoon, but no such antics there for Steve at the moment, and uh, the man comes away, still holding second place, still in third place, Dennis Biggestaff, not quite so close to John Welch or Stephen Palmer as he had been earlier on, as they go then into their last lap. It looks good then, Alan, for our first uh, turbo victory and our first non-metro victory for the year. Nice to see John Welch actually getting the uh, the turbo system on this car working. Uh, he thought he got it working over in Ireland until the fuel pump gave up, and he had problems last time out, but I think perhaps now that they've cured the little niggling little problems in this turbo car, and now we do see, as you say, a turbo car on the lead, and rightly so, I think. Yes, and of course, the next round of the series will be at Cadwell Park in Lincolnshire, a circuit that John knows well, and a circuit where he first ever drove the uh, Vauxhall Astra. That's the circuit where it made its debut, that's where our next round will be, but he wins today, then. John Welch takes his first victory of the series, and the Vauxhall Astra home ahead of Stephen Palmer. Stephen Palmer in second place with uh, Dennis Biggestaff in third. So uh, a good result then for John Welch, moves him up to second in the points table in the overall category. And I think we're going to see a little bit of celebration here from John Welch. <laughs> oh, they do love doing this. Mark goes through some tire over there, doesn't he? Doesn't it just? <laughs> but who worries now? Nice one. Uh, it's a good day because in the last six weeks, we've done a lot of work. We've redone the engine, redone the suspension and generally got the car back on course so you know, hopefully now this is the base limit and we can just squeeze a little bit more so but uh, it's very pleasing to be steve